Good day, fellow YouTubians. Welcome to the channel of Moto Photo Adventures. I'm Jason Bennett. Today is a serious day. It is a day that I am going to stand up straight with my shoulders back, peer over my windshield into the adventures that lay into my future. You may ask yourself, what is he talking about? Well, today I present you a segment called Raising the Bar. So we're gonna raise the bar. Yes, it's raising the handlebars. One of the challenges that I have with this motorcycle, which is a 2011 Suzuki V-Strom, uh, is that I'm six foot tall, which is a great seat height for this bike. However, when you put on your riding boots and you gain an extra inch and you stand on your pegs, now you are stretching for the handlebars. So what I'm going to do is improve my riding position when standing, and hopefully also when I'm sitting, I can sit more erect and back with a product. Enter the handlebar risers. Now, this is a one and one quarter increase in height. It also has a shift that you can put it forward or towards you uh, in line of the center column there. Now, when researching for this product, one of the things you have to take into consideration is the brake lines. On the front of this motorcycle, they give you a certain distance on the brake line. And if you raise the handlebars, of course, you have to have enough slack in it. Which brings me to my next point. Everything that I've done on this motorcycle, I've had to do twice. When I changed my oil for the very first time on this motorcycle, I clicked the wrong button on the Amazon order and got the wrong oil filter, so my buddy Chris had to make a run down to the store. When I was changing my sprockets and my chain on this motorcycle, the manual that I had was not a ABS uh, version of this motorcycle, and I got a chain that was too short, had to order another one. So today, we are putting it to the test. Is Jason going to be able to install this in the first try because of the brake lines, or are we going to get halfway through this thing, find out that these at one and one quarter are still too tall, even though the website said it wasn't, and my brake lines be too short? Stick with this. Let's find out. So you ever wonder how we get these uh, shots over here? We got this magic arm up here, but the cool thing about it is my iPhone. I can start and stop it with my watch. So I'm now recording myself starting and stopping my phone with my watch, so it's uh, recording my watch, recording my watch. To be able to put on the new Rock 1 and 1 quarter block offset risers for 7 eighths or 1 and 1 eighth handlebars black anodized, we have to have a couple of tools, and it's kind of simple. We have a teeny tiny little flathead screwdriver to remove the cap off of there. We have a 6 millimeter hex bolt and socket to remove the bolts. And to tighten up, if we are successful, the new ones, we have a torque wrench that will be set to 16.5 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so let's get started, but let's clear the way a little bit. We got to get some stuff out of the way so we can get to this easier. I have a GPS, and it's basically on a ball mount, so I'm just going to remove that out of the way and leave this on top of it so we don't lose it like that. And now all we got to do is pop the caps. I'm going to pop some caps right off the top. It should be easy. They're just decorative. So you get that off of there. It looks like that. Let's loosen up the hex bolts. That was easy. Also easy. Doesn't feel like 16.5 foot-pounds of torque to me. We will figure that out later. All right, there we go. Now let's... Uh, Get them off of there. That wasn't good. What happened? I think I lost a washer. Oh, that stinks. There goes another one. So I'm gonna put a little rag right here just so that I can have a place to put the handlebars once we get all of the bolts finally out. Mm. 
And there we go. Clean as a whistle. All right, let's open the package. Make sure we don't drop everything. I wonder if uh, when they're making these things, they say, you know what we should do? We should make these packages so inconvenient that when we open them, everything goes everywhere. Just like what's about to happen here. And I applaud them because they've uh, pretty much succeeded, especially when you're trying to do it on top of a motorcycle tank while you're talking to a camera. Because, you know, anything that can make it more inconvenient while you're on camera to make yourself look good, well, you know, you do that. So I'm just gonna keep pulling these bolts out of here and talking because I'm probably gonna end up cutting this part out anyway. Did I drop paper or did I drop a bolt? Yep, that was a paper. And Coolio. So we're gonna take one of these apart. The Rox Speed FX handlebar risers, as a little bonus, by the way, are made in the USA. All right, so now that these are off, let's go ahead and install them. Um, Chris made a good point that we would probably want the branding on the outside, so we're gonna put this one on the right-hand side. And we're also putting it forward facing instead of this way because we want the bars closer to me I think we'll find out so now we put these two hex bolts in first to secure the bottom portion to the tree Now let's get out a torque wrench. According to the manual, we are needing to set this at 16.5. So here we have the markings on the torque wrench, a 10, a 15, and a 20. So we're gonna roll it all the way up until we get the zero on the 15, and we add two, or one and a half. One and a half, is that about right? I can see that. And then we lock the bottom. Now let's tighten it up. And there's the other one. Let's do it again on the other side. My handlebars are the 7 8 inch variety, so we're going to use these spacers, which we place here and here, and then we lift the bars over and on top. Hopefully, without too much trouble. Ta-da! Then we put the spacers on top as well. Get these centered correctly here. They have these little nipples on top, underneath and on the top, so we want to make sure that those are situated appropriately to fit into the groove or the notch, the indentation that's on this piece here. So make sure that that's seated correctly. Put one of these bolts in to just hold it in place. Do the same thing over here. Make sure that that is seated correctly. And just put these in finger tight because in just a moment, we're gonna have to climb on top and decide where we wanna tilt the handlebars for the most comfortable riding position when seated and standing. All right, let's climb on this thing and see where the handlebars end up for me. Don't need that anymore. So sitting, hang on a minute, there we go. Sitting, hey, we might have nailed the sitting. That's pretty good. All right, let's try standing. 
Leaning forward with the knees. Yep, that's pretty nice. It used to be here. So I would have to lean over a bit hunchbacky, it's like that. But now, all the way up with my knees locked on the tank and my head up high, that's pretty good. I don't know that I'm gonna have to move that at all. That's pr pretty, that's decent. That's decent. Let's lock it in. So while it's just finger tight at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and just torque it down so it won't move and then I'll go get the torque wrench. And we'll be permanent. Okay, let's torque it to 16.5 and that should be the end of it. We may have finished the entire project in only one go. That is totally unheard of from my neck of the woods, that is, anyway. So, we'll see. My windshield's in the way. Well, with the handlebars back in, we just put the Garmin back in place because, as everyone knows, if you watch our channel, geography is my kryptonite, and I don't know where I'm going, and that's why Chris is our Sherpa. But I do want to take this opportunity to give a huge thumbs up to Revzilla and Rox Speed FX because they just broke the streak. Jason got it done in one go. No second orders and no extra brake lines, and they were correct when they said that this riser works with the, the uh, manufacturer's original length of front brake line. So, with that, um, make sure that you keep your back straight, your shoulders back, your knees on that tank, and look over that windshield for the next adventure that's coming your way in the future. Watch our videos, hit the like and subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next one's coming out. And I'm Jason Bennett, and I appreciate you joining us. See you on the road.